Combat Cards is the trading game of dueling warriors in the Second Life virtual world. Each game is a one-on-one -on -one battle where each player starts with 100 health points and your aim is to reduce your opponent to zero. Combat Cards is played over an unlimited number of rounds. In each round, each player plays a card which might attack your opponent or defend yourself. Let's take a look at a card. Each card has numbers in the left which determines its effects. If a white number is a red blood drop, it's an attack value. Numbers in blue shields are blocks. These reduce the values of effects in the same location of your opponent's card. Three locations that you can attack and defend. High, middle and low. Ideally, you want to block your opponent's effects without having your card's effects blocked. Numbers in green hearts heal and yellow symbols cause cards to be drawn or discarded. Let's see what happens when two cards are played in a round. Both cards attack in one location and block in another, but the low block of the Savage Strike reduces the value of the low attack of the Searing Scourge to zero. In addition to contested effects on the left hand side, some cards always have uncontested effects on the bottom right. These effects always occur, but they are often negative. The black number on the blood drop symbol on the bottom right of the Santa Slay card indicates that you lose health every time the card is played. Cards are shown in the HUD outlined in red or green. Green cards can be played immediately. Red cards require other cards to be played first. These are your card combos. When you click a green outline card to play it, the outline turns white. The cards outlined in red have a consume resources condition icon. If on one turn you play a card with a green produce resources effect, on the next turn, and the next turn only, any card that has the same icon will have its outline turn green. These are combos. You play one card to play the second card. They can do much greater damage to your opponent, but the drawbacks are that you need time to set them up and they can be anticipated by your opponent. Touch the anvil and pick up your free demo deck. To begin a fight, wear it by right clicking on it in your inventory. You start each game by drawing automatically three cards from your game deck. Cards will appear in a hut that only you can see. If you do not play a card in a round, then you'll be dealt another card from your deck. And you can have a maximum of six cards in your hand. If you have six cards and draw another, then you will randomly discard from your hand first before taking and drawing another card. At the end of each round, the anvil will say which cards were played, which locations they attacked the block, and what the result was. By watching the results, you can learn what cards your opponent has, what combos they have, and you'll be able to anticipate this and block their attacks. And by anticipating their combos, you'll be able to play attacks that they can't block. That's all you need to know. Play combat cards. Now, get fighting. Thank you.